But we, we can say one thing, that, at least from my experience, I feel that in the beginning whatever starts in a small way, in a struggling way, really is embedding itself nicely into the Mother Earth. And it's a very good sign, because that's the way it always works out better. Whatever is frivolous or whatever is cheapish or which spreads out uh, without much difficulties is of no use. It's like a grass, anybody can take it away. So the embediment and all that has to go inside, as you are shaking it nicely to go inside, and that's what it is, where you should be very happy that it is working out that way. Somebody has come? Let him come. Come along. <coughs> so the beginning of Sahaja Yoga may look to be little shaky, may look to be little feeble, but it is not. It is getting stronger and stronger and it is getting embedded into the Mother Earth and that is what is the test of you being the real seekers, you being the people who want truth, who do not want a big show, big uh, sort of a uh, community sitting there all going mad with some sort of a shouting, screaming and nonsense. As it is, you know, Sahaja Yoga is a living process and it goes both, grows both, both ways, upwards and downwards. In the beginning it grows more downwards and in the downward process we have to depend on our vibrations very much. We must all the time remember that we are realized souls, that we have got vibrations. This is the way we have to judge, this is the way we have to understand. The vibration is the only way that we know others, not by something, something, something you will feel that a person looks very sweet and nice and may a snake come out of that person. So best is to judge a person through vibration, judge everything through vibrations, not through your own understanding or superficial uh, methods of judging others. Now there are also so many conditionings we have got by which we judge others and these conditionings uh, can also uh, bias our judgment. So best way is to see the vibrations. Through vibrations you will have the real knowledge about what is happening. Now many people in the beginning also start uh, misguiding. So best is to develop your vibrations, for that you have to grow inward first of all. If you grow inward deeply, then what will happen? That outward growth will be very solid and would be exact. You won't have any problems with that. But if you do not grow inward, if you do not meditate and pay attention to it, and I would say it is more the uh, dedication that you have that works out so well that you grow upward so well. I mean, you can give a speech whenever you want about Sahaja Yoga, you can give realization to people whenever you want, uh, you can cure people whenever you want. But first, there should be a depth in you. If that you have not achieved, you just start superficially doing something, then maybe you are hit or maybe you are in trouble or maybe you may start doubting yourself, maybe Sahaja Yoga too. So the first thing is for us to grow deeply. And while we are growing deeply, we have to also grow in such a manner that we understand our vibrations clearly. Now see, a root of a little plant has got a very small little cell at the base of it. And the plant doesn't know anything as much as that little cell knows, because it is going inside by its own intelligence, its own vibrations. Now if it finds a stone, it doesn't go and quarrel, so don't fight with the people who are stonies, just don't argue with them. You cannot make them understand, it's not possible. They have to be seekers and soft, uh, like the soft clay, you can say, through which this little uh, cell goes, penetrates, then it finds, supposing it finds a big stone. 
then what it goes round and round and round, so gives it a bandhan nicely and goes down. Later on when it becomes a tree, he uses this stone for its, st <laughs> you see, for its support. So in the same way, you can go round and round and round somebody like that, but giving just bandhan without saying anything, in your heart, not saying, arguing with him anything, because he will break your head, but he will never be alright. So best is not to argue with him, but just give him bandhan in your heart and someone will bind it so that later on, you see, he will become Sahaja Yogi, but will be a big support to us, because he's such a stone. See, just now you soft people, people who are easy people, people who are seekers, who are not so complicated.